So hi guys, in this video, we're gonna create our first database in SQL. We're gonna create our first table in that database. We are gonna fill that table with this data. And then last but not least, we're gonna um, query that table to see if our data is, is really in that table. So we got a lot of do, let's, start, let's get started. Now I'm going to start with, with uh, first of all, general SQL, and then we're going to go into Postgres, MySQL, and finally in Access. Right. Now, if I want to create a table in, in, uh, in SQL, I have to see with my data. I mean, here I, I can see my, my, my headers, our driver ID, first name, surname, victories, and championship. And this is the general SQL code for uh, that. I, I have to create table. And then what's, what's the table called? I will call it drivers. And then... I will have to open brackets and close bracket and then in there I write the fields that I want in that table and the fields are driver ID, first name, surname, victories and championships. Now this is valid SQL code. The only thing what's missing here are the types, the field types. Now we have effectively three number types where there are digits in there and two texts. Now let's start with a text. The text fields in, in, uh, in all database you have you have two types of text fields. One of them is the var char, var char, and then you open brackets, and in that you put in the maximum number of uh, of uh, characters you want to have in there. So let's say first, if, let's say surname, surname, let's say fifty five. So that means that the field surname can maximum take fifty five characters. However, it depends on the on the size of each surname. You've got a big surname, that field will expand and, and uh, cater for that big surname. If you've got a small surname, that field will contract and cater for that small surname. However, regardless, it will maximum take 55 characters. So any surnames bigger than 55 characters, will you will you get problems with that, okay? And uh, if, if, you're, if your surnames are only, let's say, 10 characters, no problem. The field, the, the, that field will only uh, consume 10 characters, not more. But it can go up to 55. Yeah? Same. Now, you've got another type of uh, text field, which, they, which is called car, car in some uh, database application. And car is fixed length, which means that regardless how big or small your surnames or your names are, this field will always consume the same space. If you let's say if you have a space of let's say ten characters and you, and your data only requires four, the other six will be filled with empty space. Okay. Now in some database packages, let's say like MS, like MySQL, uh, car um, uh, types are give better performance than var chars. However, all the whole row has to be of type char. Now, but that's only in MySQL. In Postgres, that doesn't give you an advantage. So you always have to um, weigh what, what you need, okay? Now I'm gonna have here, I'm gonna uh, do here Varchar as well. However, I'm gonna use a smaller max. I'm gonna say 30 because I don't know, personally, I don't know of any first name which exceeds 30 characters, okay? Now, coming to the numbers, if you, if you look at the numbers, they're all integers, no, decimals in there and there's no possibility of any decimals in there because you can't have a, a decimal id neither can you have a decimal victories you either have you know five or six victories you can't have like 5.5 you could in formula one but i'm going to disregard these cases and i'm just going to take full digits and then championships again you either you, they're also dig, uh, integers right now it depends on the package you have you use in uh, postgres the smallest integer is the small int and that goes from minus 32,700 something till plus 32,767 if I'm not mistaken okay this is also true for uh, 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 MySQL the small int they've also got small int and that small int also goes from uh, minus 32,000 uh, and minus 32,700 uh, minus 32,768 till plus uh, 32,767. But in uh, MySQL, they also have the tiny int, which goes from zero to 255. And if I, in Postgres, I would have to do all of them small int. 
in um, in uh, in MySQL, I could use the, the victors in the championships. I can use tiny int, which goes from zero to two fifty five, because neither no driver can ever. Uh, get more than 255 victories in Formula One, nor could any driver get more than 255 world championships in his lifetime. So here you're safe using time in. I can't do that in Postgres because Postgres, the smallest one, is uh, small in, but I could do that in MySQL. And in uh, Access, same thing. In Access, that would be an integer. However, here in Access, you also got the byte, which also goes just as the tiny int in MySQL goes from two. Uh, from 0 to 255. It's called byte and access. We're going to see each of them. Now, so I've, I've just built the code for Postgres. And here I'm in PG admin uh, of Postgres. And now what I do, I, at, first of all, I need to create a new database. So I just create a new database and I call that F1 underscore DB and OK. It takes a, a bit for it to create. And there it is. So now I click it and then I go into SQL. So now we are in that database, and now the next step is to um, basically create that table. And the code for the table, we just we just written that here, and that is let's I just got the wrong window. So I just insert that code here, and you have create table drivers like we said: driver ID, first name, surname, victories, and championships. And you have here the diverse types. Okay, so and then I can just execute that code and there you go query return successfully with no result in 22 soon. so basically now we have created our table however it's empty now i've got my data here in excel and now i want to insert that first driver and to insert data you use the uh, sql command insert and that would look something like that Go back to my Postgres, and the code would look like that. Uh, let me just re re expand this thing here. Okay, great. So uh, you can see insert into. That's that's these are SQL keywords, and then you have the table name drivers in our case. And then open brackets, close brackets, the fields that you wish to insert into, and I wish to insert in all the fields. So I just write them all in and then the keyword values and then again open bracket close bracket and there come the values in the exact the same sequence as the field so basically driver id that one is for driver id giuseppe is for first name farina is for surname the five is for victories and the one is for championships and you also notice that i have inserted the text values are in single quotes whereas the the numbers in in our case the small ins are uh, input like this okay and if I now I wish to execute only because if I now hold on if I just execute like this I will create my table again I don't want that I'm gonna probably get an error because that table exists already I just want to execute execute that insert so what you do just select that and type sorry not type but execute the query and you see the query is executed now I want to check out is that is that piece of data in my table and you for that you have the select statement and that would look like this there we are select and then you you list the fields you wish to show in our case i wish to show all fields driver id first name surname victories and championships and then comes the keyword from and then after from you insert the table that you need and notice after each of the statements i execute i always have a semicolon Okay, here's a semicolon, here's a semicolon, I forgot one here, but actually you need to have a semicolon after each SQL statement that you wish to execute. So now I only wish to execute that select statement, so I just select that and execute. And you see here, there's my table, there are the fields up there, and there's the one data uh, row that I just inserted. Now, I could just, and basically what I have got to do is basically do the same thing for the remaining drivers, just insert and then just basically the same thing here up front but only this changes yeah that would be the two and then the next driver will come in and three and so on and one thing you could do that's what i often do i have my data in excel like that and what i do in excel i can 
through uh, formulas and concatenation, I can basically create my SQL code in, in the, for the first guy. Let me just expand that a bit. And then basically, that's what I did. If you notice here, equal and then uh, open, um, open quotation marks, I, I, there's the SQL code and then uh, the, 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 the driver details are then with, uh, are inserted with, with those um, cell addresses. It's like basically building a formula, but this formula is basically your SQL code. And then you just drag it down or autofill for the remaining rows. And this way I've got like now my SQL code for, all, for my remaining 20, uh, sorry, 19 drivers. And all I gotta do is copy that and insert that in my Postgres uh, SQL editor. There you go. And I got like, you see all my inserts very fast. And doesn't matter, I could have like 100 drivers, it would be just as fast. Okay, and, and if I select that and execute, I would have all my drivers in there. And proof is, if I again select this one here, select drivers, I would have, you can see now my table is complete. I just inserted all drivers in there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can build your SQL um, queries in Excel very fast. Why? Because a lot of people use Excel and I often use Excel to prototype or to have some proto data in there or often to have the real data in there and basically what I don't want to do, I don't want to, I don't want to type insert into that statement like 20 or 200 times. So what I do, I build everything in Excel and then I build a formula or with a formula I build my SQL code and then just basically autofill it down, copy that, put it in the SQL editor and bang. I've got uh, the stuff that I need, just the way I did it here. And like I said, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly build your uh, SQL code uh, through Excel. For those people wishing to use Excel, for those who don't wish it, well, you don't have to watch the video. All right, so now we have done our job in, in Postgres, and you see it's, it's quite simple. And like I said, that, that big chunk of data, inserting that big chunk of data can be easily done with Excel and a few formulas, which I'm going to show in the next video. Right, now let's try the same thing with MySQL. And here's MySQL. I just double click my local instance. And oops, that's uh, an old. Uh, SQL code, let me just remove that. So, right, now, here we go. Now here in, um, in Postgres, we created our uh, database through, uh, by, by right clicking on, 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 on the server. Here we're gonna create our, our database with, with uh, SQL, and the way it goes is like this. So this, is the, this, this says create database F1DB. So here we create our database, and then comes the next bit which says use F1DB, meaning that everything now we write from now on is or is directed to that database F1DB and not any other database on that MySQL server, okay? So, and then I come, I do the same thing I did in Postgres, which is basically create my table and I have here the fields, same fields, same types, except here because uh, MySQL gives me the luxury of tiny int, which is smaller than small int, especially for victories and championships. So I'm just going to change the type here to from small int to tiny int. And voila, there you go. Oops, tiny int. So there we go. So now I've got my database. I created my database. I'm going to use my database. And then in that database, I'm going to create the table drivers with those fields and those field or data types. Okay. And like I said, use F1DB means that anything I write here, this, this table is created in F1DB. And if I execute, this is here, this is how you execute your query. If I execute that query, everything is green, means everything has been created. Right, now I wish to insert my, my first record. And that's the same thing as in Postgres. I go in here and insert, and this is basically the same syntax. Insert into drivers, and then I have open brackets, I list the fields I wish to insert into, yeah, and then the values, and then obviously here the values are in the same sequence as the fields I've listed before, and then semicolon at the end. And if I wish to uh, execute just this statement, I just select it, and then execute, and there you go, just done it. And now I wish to see, let me just do some returns, I wish to see my 
my my that record I just uh, inserted, I just take select, and that's exactly the same syntax as in the Postgres. Also, basically, it's basically a, the same SQL syntax, and I just wish to uh, execute that one, and there you go. I, you can see my first data record in MySQL. And as in Postgres, I can go back to my Excel after having built my formula. I just can copy that stuff and go back to MySQL and basically paste here, select it. Oops, easy, easy, easy. I gotta take it not so fast, so there we go. I just selected that and then execute and I just inserted all my drivers and if I um, select the select statement again and execute that and you can see now my complete database let me just expand that a bit you can see my database my whole drivers my 20 drivers I've just inserted my 20 drivers in my SQL database so basically you see it's the same process as in uh, Postgres the only difference with my SQL is that I can use tiny int for uh, uh, numbers or integers, to be precise, which do not exceed 255. Okay, so let's do now our final database package, which is the access. I'm going to start access, and here I'm going to take a blank database. It's going to open up a new table I don't need. I'm just going to close that, and I'm going to go to create and query design. I've got no tables, so I'm just going to close that and go directly to SQL. And with SQL, I'm going to insert the following uh, code, which is basically this here. There we go. And you see here, create table drivers, same as before with the other packages. And here I've got open bracket, close brackets, my fields. Now here I've got some difference. Integer is an access the it's what what small int was with other two packages which basically goes from minus 32768 till plus 32767 uh, text is what in the others was virtual i've got here the same max size as before and here instead of tiny int uh, uh, in my sql i use here byte that's the same thing as tiny int which goes basically from uh, 0 to 255 right and then I can run and you can see I just created a table if I double click that I've got my fields in here if I go to the design view I can see the fields and here one thing I have to say even though I said create a, a, a field of you know a number field of, of size integer it did it access made a long integer out of it even though it's got integer as, as an option. I don't know why it does that, but it does that. So basically, you can, after the fact, you can always change that to integer, no big deal. The text fields, you, you can see they're okay, 30 and 55. And the numbers here, bytes are okay, number byte, just the way I specified. Again, here, same thing. It's just with that integer, it does not want to take integer. So it just puts it as long integer. Right, but basically, I got my table and close now another thing i need to insert that first record so let me just insert that first record same as before same syntax insert into drivers etc and the exact same syntax as in all other packages and if i select that and run i will get an error because in access again unlike the other two packages <coughs> unlike let's say uh, postgres and uh, and MySQL and and even SQL Server, it does not. It will handle the whole thing. It, selecting selecting a specific uh, uh, a specific uh, SQL command will not bring any result because it will always uh, uh, execute the whole query. So basically, I'm just going to have to delete that upper part and then run. And you're about to you're about to append one row. Yes. So, and I got that. And if I open up drivers, I can see there's that one row in here that I just appended, okay? Now, if I go back to my Excel and copy my remaining drivers and try, let me remove this guy and paste the others and try to run, I will get an error because again, access, unlike the, other, the others like Postgres and uh, MySQL, it cannot handle multiple insert statements so basically that thing here won't work i would have to insert each driver on his own 
and you can see now I can append that and I should have now two drivers in here and I would have to repeat that process for a third, fourth, etc. driver. Okay. Now the only reason I'm inserting, I have, I'm using access here in my video series is because a lot of people got access and basically they can run the majority of the SQL code I have here in their access packages without, you know, downloading or having to buy any other packages. But obviously, as you see here, access is not as performant as uh, Postgres or uh, MySQL or for that matter SQL Server. The only reason I'm not I'm not using SQL Server in a series is because I don't have a copy myself. Uh, I would have loved to insert to to have that as well, but I don't have a copy myself. So basically, now just to summarize what we did, we created our first database. In that database, we created our first table with fields of two types: uh, text which is basically varchar in most packages and uh, integers which is basically small int in postgres uh, in, in in mysql we had the luxury of tiny int in access we had the luxury of byte and then we inserted we populated this table with data and then we used select to see whether that data was in the table and that's about it and in the next video what i'm going to show you is how to build that excel formula for your uh, queries because you're going to use a lot of you can use Excel to really leverage uh, uh, SQL where you can have multiple uh, multiple query uh, query SQL statements all at once and just paste them in your SQL editor and you will work much faster than if you have to manually type each uh, SQL uh, query by hand.